Okay, here I'm going to provide a brief overview of what's called cation exchange capacity, or CEC. I'm not getting into too much in the exact of the details of the chemistry or the interaction here. I want you to have a basic understanding. This is, com this is something very commonly provided on soil tests. A lot of growers can have questions about this. So cation exchange capacity, or as I said, is abbreviated CEC. This is the measure of the soil's ability to hold positively charged ions. Those are important because we see the positively charged ions mentioned here um, are a lot that are associated with major uh, nutrients needed by the plants. The CEC influences the soil's ability to hold on to essential nutrients and provide a buffer against soil acidification. So we see that the soil particle here has that typical permanent negative charge and that's going to attract or hold these positive ions which tend to have um, a lot of the nutrients that the plants need. So first off, that cation that I had mentioned, well, that's an atom with a positive charge. That means it's lost an electron. So we go back to hydrogen atom here, one proton, one electron. Protons have a positive charge, electrons have a negative charge. So if it's a cation, that means it's lost an electron in this case. So it loses an electron, called becomes oxidized, or this becomes now a positive ion, which would be properly termed a cation. In contrast to that, an atom with a negative charge, and this is an anion, so here we're gaining another electron. Electrons have a negative charge, it's being reduced, and we have the hydrogen anion here. So anion negatively charged, cation positively charged. Since this is cation exchange capacity, it's the ability for soils to exchange positive ions. Some of those base cations, as we've mentioned, are important nutrients, such as calcium, magnesium, sodium, and potassium. These are all involved in those cations that are interacting with the roots and the negatively charged soil particles. What influences CAC? The soils with higher clay fraction tend to have higher CEC. Organic matter also has high CEC. So if you're looking at just increasing CEC, well, if you're adding organic matter and clay materials, well, that's just naturally going to increase that CEC. You can see here, in contrast, sand is a very low CEC. Um, so this is, again, something to keep in mind if you are growing in a sand medium, that your CEC naturally is just going to be lower by the inherent particle size. So low CEC, what does this cause? Well, soils, commonly sandy in texture, with low CEC are more likely to develop deficiencies in potassium and magnesium, as well as other cations. Again, having that low cation exchange uh, doesn't allow this to be held very well, doesn't allow the plant to be able to take them up. So some of the drawbacks to having CEC, and see nutrient deficiencies can incur.